Since this is our very first episode, we'd like to start this off with a bang and invite the tippy top of our student government pyramid, the president, Jose Salazar. Thank you for having me here today. Oh, thank you for coming. It's a pleasure. So first, I'd like to know, what made you want to be our student body president? It was a roller coaster. Um, when I first, um, I, I was, I was a mat I'm a transfer student from Lama City College. And when I was in Lama City College, I joined student government. And I was the director of communications there. Mm -hmm. um, as director of communications, I was, I was able to make a great impact on my campus. During our board year, we implemented the shadows which take uh, students from the two campuses, which are far away uh, from each other. I kind of didn't like the, um, a lot of parts from um, being in student government, and I thought that that wouldn't be for myself. And then, um, irony, <laughs> I came here to Long Beach, it's Kasi Long Beach, and then I first didn't involve myself in my first years in, in student government because of um, my experience I had in Long Beach City College. But then, um, when I was being part of many different organizations in the College of Engineering, I was approached by those organizations saying that, hey, you know, you may be the best uh, person, you know, to run and represent our college. So um, I decided to run and become the senator of the College of Engineering. And last year, um, when I did get accepted as a senator, I was um, I'm also part of this organization that um, deals with social justice for the immigration um, a community here on campus. And they were saying that we already have a lot of student leaders that are, that are undocumented. And they said that we need somebody, you know, to, to be the, the top-notch representative and to empower our community. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I could be that person. And from there, I got the heart, you know, to try to um, give faith to, uh, to my community and to make sure that, hey, you know, anything could be possible as long as you fight for it. That's really nice. So you say that somebody approached you. So after they approached you and you decided you said that you got the heart for it, right? So this heart that you have, what, what does it want to do specifically for the students? Like, what are your goals for us? I want to make sure I, I make a great change from the university. One of the things that I was trying to work as a senator uh, was to try to co create a bike shop here on campus. I believe we do have a problem, especially with parking. Um, I believe in uh, more students. Um, if there was a, a pro first of all, a program here on campus where uh, students would be able to check out bicycles, um, for those students that are living close by, it could be beneficial for them because they'll be able to bike to their classes and they don't have to worry about parking a mile away almost to their classes mm -hmm. and still walking that extra minute. So, um, And I also want to uh, create a, a nap room here on campus for students to take a nap in the middle of the day. Um, being here as, as a student since day one here, I've seen uh, students find the sleeves um, all over the place from lawns to classrooms to computer labs and I feel that uh, we need a space that's in the near campus for students to be able to take a nap in the, um, throughout the day. And um, that, I feel that that will help our retention rates. Um, that will keep students focused and making them, um, having a better life uh, for them on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, another thing that I do want to tackle is the, the whole thing about the tuitions hikes that, that has been going on ever since I've been here in the university. The first three years of my um, stay, tuition kept on going up each, each year. And I feel it's enough's enough. Um, it's very it's very hard for you to work on a minimum wage job mm -hmm. and be able to pay for university. Uh, so I'm trying to work with CSSA, the student um, California State Student um, the Association. It's composed of all the 23 different uh, student body presidents from the CSU system to try to um, ask for more money to the state legislator um, for next year, so we could have uh, um, extra money and we could possibly have that talk of maybe trying to go back to post-recession levels of tuition. I think these sound like some great goals. So, one goal, if you could think of just one thing that you want to accomplish in your presidency, just one thing that drives you, what would it be? I would like to um, be, be a motivation to the students and to show them, you know, that, that I, I want them to be great leaders, and I want, I want them to, to know that this university has the best that there is. Our, our university only accepts very few, and um, it's, it's a great honor to be part of the fam mining family. And I just want students you know, to be encouraged by, um, to run for student positions. I want them to, to, to know that they, they as well could, um, could be in this position themselves. Um, I'm starting to, to do town hall meetings next week, October, mm -hmm. October 5th, um, Thursday. Um, I'm going to be in front of the, with the other executives, we're going to be in front of the rec center. 
and we're gonna be answering any questions to the students. So we wanna build a bridge between us and the students, you know, to show more visibility and to let them know that we're trying to fight for what, what's right for them, mm -hmm. and um, and try, try, trying to make their college life the best we can. And um, I wanna make sure we still keep on providing our services. I, I just want them to know what ASI is, because a lot of times I've met with alumni and I've, I've seen that they don't even know what, what ASI is, and that breaks my heart. I'm like, well, you, you've been to school for a while, and it's okay, you know, no, no. It's fine, but I just I want to bring that visibility out to the students and let them know that, hey, you know, we're here, we're doing things for y'all, and I want to let you know all the services we provide that way you come through uh, and participate in the services after all you are paying the dues. Okay. Um, you you described a Taha meeting? Is that what you called it? Town hall meeting, yes. A town hall meeting. Okay, do you mind explaining what that is just a little bit for those of us who don't know? Uh, so a town hall meeting will be a meeting where the executives will be... Um, we will be open to um, the whole student body. Um, students will be able to come and ask us questions. We'll have shares and, um, posted outside of the rec center. We're also going to give them free snacks. So uh, there's fruit. So come through, students. You know, <laughs> we want you there. Um, we're also ready. You know, if you have any any type of questions, we, we're there. I got elected to take you know anything that, that I had to take. You know, if, even if it's the media. You know, if if you want to ask any any questions, come come and ask it. You know. Just don't throw tomatoes at us, you know, because we're not going to have shields. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, besides that, as this, um, you know, we're, we're, we want them to know that we're, we're their representatives and we're here for them, and we want them to know that we care. Okay. Uh, and it'll be a, a, a way for them to ask their questions and um, get answers. Yeah. So once again, Jose Salazar, I'd like to thank you for coming on our show. And if you would like to hear more about Jose Salazar's plans, for our student government, you can go to our YouTube channel at ASICOM CSUOB.